Hey there Misfits, welcome to another Snapshot and today we are going to take a look at a game that's coming to Kickstarter soon. It's called Stellar Drift and I must say one thing about this game is I, I can tell you right now I'm not a big 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 fan of end rights period nor me it, it kind of it, it's hard to follow some of the iconography and some mm -hmm. of them granted one of them the last one we tried was at twilight imperium roll and write which was and we were like <gasps> oh, so, oh my but, gosh but we got this one and, and the the gimmick about this one it's a pull and write so you take this little baggie here and what you do is you pull out little cubes and depending on what how many how many but you normally pull out three at the beginning and then these are the colors here that you have to work with. And then you look down at your ship, because the whole idea is you woke up in the middle of deep space, your ship's broken, you gotta fix it so you can survive, and you're running around the ship and you're trying to, to fix parts and you're trying to get the most points, and the person with the most points ends up winning. Yeah. It's pretty simple on that. But you, the colors will show you the different areas on the ship that you can fix. It determines what areas or sectors that you can mark out you, that you can cross out exactly and like i'm, I'm gonna get you a close-up here and uh, right here you can see how it all plays out you got the little colors on the different parts of the ship and once you expend a cube on those parts of the ship then you get the little bonus on the bottom and the nice thing about that is it's it's very simple flow on all this because once you got the little bonus on the bottom then you look over on the right side and it's got all the things that you fix like reactor, life support, CPU core, engines, and you need fuel. And so when you fix pieces of that, then you get bonuses that go up this way. So you get more bonuses for the things you fix and the things you fix are chosen by the color of cube. And then you also are able to spend stuff on your, your, income upgrades and your tech upgrade tracker which is that puppy right there and then you get better as you go up and you get different things so it gives you bonuses to energy it gives you extra cubes it gives you lots of other bonuses that work together with fixing your ship and it, it and it all seamlessly flows together that was one thing that surprised me like yeah. twilight imperium when we when we played that it was like, why are we doing why? this over here and this over here and this why? over here and this over here? But Penny. this is very concise. It's easy to follow. Wonderful. It's wonderful, wonderful to follow. And then so you're kind of getting a flow together and you get bonuses if you fix certain areas of the ship. Mm -hmm. You get bonuses if you get your tech upgraded. You get bonuses if you repair a certain amount of stuff. And then it, it all ends up points at the end. And whoever has the most points wins. And that is simple concise but one thing i right. love is the kind of the push your luck mechanic yes. because the you, you're like you're like oh you i should know. be able to get a blue yes. out of here uh no blue green yeah. yellow where's my blue and it's kind of it, it reminds me a lot of quacks and quidlinburg yes. when you're like thinking oh well there should be a whole lot of these okay i'm fine i'll get it uh no. crap but that's the fun of it because it it's, it's such a quick game and it's yes. such a fun game to turn around it's definitely a great starter game Yes. And I really can't wait to have my own copy of this because... Me too. We it, can play... At two players, it plays great. It, it was it was a great game. Uh, and then and it plays up to five. Mm -hmm. So if you got a, a good group of five people, you know, you can play it. And it even has like a solo kind of mode to it. So, mm -hmm. so that's a lot of people like to play, you know, solo mode games. And that's really hot right now. So that's in there too. So this game is fun. I mean, just plain fun. And I, I didn't think I was going to say that. I didn't think I was going to say that about a Well, because uh, we played right. Twilight Imperium. Well, and we, and I played a few uh, more than that too, and it just like, it, it didn't feel to me in a no. lot of a lot of end rights. Right. It doesn't feel like I'm really building anything or I'm right. really doing. But this, because it's so zeroed in on fixing your ship and you're seeing yourself mark off points mm -hmm. and oh, I'm 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 fixing this and I'm fixing this and I'm fixing this and it really it really builds well. And your points on the ship or your sectors on the ship translate into what you're doing over here. Right. Which really made sense. Because yeah, when a nice you, flow. A very good flow. So when you X off what you're doing over here, then you're building up to your points on your tracker. Yeah, let me get a close-up of that. And, well, th yeah, this tracker here is also for your energy. So that, mm -hmm. that you build up more energy, you're able to do more things. And, you know, that's, that's typical of a lot of games. But right here, when you've got 
you know, all this bonuses and all, you know, you, you can see what you're building up and you see what your goal is. And it's got victory point areas that, you know, once you cross a certain barrier, you get more victory points. So you can attack your ship repairs in different ways. Yes. And what's interesting too, is there's so many different ships. I mean, I got this one here. This is the Akara glider and you can see the layout of this, which, you know, this game I won because my ship was honestly easier or, I guess it was easier, but it could also be it part could be of the what, what colors you get. Of the colors. Because your ship Correct. was was a well, lot more difficult for you in the second game. Mine was a little more compact in the second game. This was our second game ship. Uh, mine was more compact. I had upstairs and downstairs that I could do. Yeah. Where you go up and down. And it that plays to a different to area of the to board a different here. Area on the board. But it also, I mean, it, depending on what colors you get, mm -hmm. you know, if you need a lot of red to fix a certain area and you can't pull those red. There's mitigating factors Correct. if you upgrade your tech yeah. and stuff like that, but it's like, oh, I get a DJ. No, it was, colors. So it was, it was a lot of fun. really a lot, a, lot of fun. a lot of fun. And then in the end game scoring, if you could get a close up here, you have your repaired sections on the ship. How many sections were you able to repair? Which was, you know, the the sections were the were the whole colors. Like if you mm -hmm. if you open up a whole color here, that's a section that you repaired, and you get. Uh, victory points you know for all these light colors here you get more victory points so repaired it's, section bonus yeah that's that's the bonus because she repaired mm -hmm. one section and got th or the, for the bonuses she got three for the bonuses then your ship repairs you take the largest value yeah that's all up here because mm -hmm. the the highest you unlock the more victory points you get for that area then your tech upgrades and which that's, would be that's on your these over tech, here your tech sector you get victory here. points mm -hmm. you can see the victory points over there on the left that you unlock. You add it all together to get your total. So Misfit Tom won the first. No, I won the first. You won round. the first. Game. I won the you, first you game. You kicked my butt I on the did, first game. I did. I did. But the second game, I looks like I squeaked out a winner by just five, five points. points. So five points. And and games can swing like that. They can, and it does have to do a lot too with the randomity of what you're pulling. Yeah. And I, I got more satisfaction, I think, from pulling yeah. things out of a bag I than do, rolling dice. I do, instead of rolling dice. I really do enjoy the pulling of of cubes instead of rolling dice. Well, I mean, I, I, mean, I, do, I do love dice and games. I do love Quacks of Quidlinburg, I do like so, dice so games, I love grabbing but I, stuff out of a bag. I really do love the pulling of cubes, too, color cubes. Yeah. yeah, so this is definitely, I mean, this is a hit in our home, and I think it could be a hit in anybody else's. I, I so, so it's on Kickstarter, or coming to Kickstarter in January, depending on when you watch this. But I'm going to have a link down below so you can check it out. It's definitely going to be another one of those Kickstarters that I'm going to throw money at and then, and then hope, you know, comes really, 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 really quick because I, I'm excited to play this. It, it was a very fun game. It was. It was and, a fun and game. It, you know, even too, like we didn't have, we don't have a lot of time some evenings to play a game. No. But this one was like, get it out, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, we had an hour of time. We had an hour of fun. So that was great. Yeah, we played two games in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, yeah. that was beautiful. It was. Yeah. I don't want to send this back. Do we have to? Uh, uh, some other people got to see it. Oh. I know. I like We're going to have to wait. They say patience is a virtue. It is. And uh, I don't have many of those. So, <laughs> so definitely go check this one out. And thanks for joining us for another snapshot. This one here is Stellar Drift. Go get it. And until next time, Misfits, game, game on. on. Thank <laughs> you.